be reviewing my Kitty Tech X1 3D printer. So right there. Prior to getting my printer, I had beginner level experience with 3D printing and 3D printer buying. I've had my printer now for about four months and definitely say I've gone beyond just being a beginner. I chose the X1 after doing a lot of research on it and other similar entry level hobbyist printers. What really stood out to me about this printer was that there's no assembly required once I got it. It essentially works right out of the box. In that regard, it definitely lived up to the marketing. After removing the packing material and just leveling the bed, it was good to go. Another detail that led me to the X1 was the enclosure. It makes it a lot easier to print when your printer isn't just sitting out with components exposed. Everything's covered up nicely and it's got a lot more of a finished look than most of the kit printers you can buy out there. I've primarily used my printer for making props and models and designing some small functional things to make my life a little easier. I've been mostly using PLA filament for printing, but the X1 can handle other filaments as well. The only other filament that I've used has been ABS, and with the enclosure design I was able to easily create some covers so that the temperature can be regulated like you need for ABS. My favorite thing about the X1 is its usability. It's very easy to get just going right away with it. Also Kitty Tech is very helpful with their tech support. I had a end stop button stop working on me and about two days later I had a re replacement for it in my door that I could install easily with the tools that they included when you get the printer to start with. My least favorite thing is the noise. It isn't louder than other printers I've seen but I have it running in my bedroom right now and it definitely keeps you awake at night if you try to do that. I've made several modifications all of which are purely cosmetic or just utilitarian changes. I added an angled mount for the touch screen to make it easier to read from above. I added a small tool mount on the side there you can see that is great for adding just the special tools that you need just to take stuff off the table or to clean stuff up. I also added a switch to the LED strip so that you can independently control that so that it doesn't bother me at night. Also the covers for the top and the sides so that you can print ABS. The last major modification I made was to upgrade the bed to a borosilicate glass from the original blue tape that comes with it because the blue tape would actually separate when you try to do the bed at temperatures for the ABS. So it had to be replaced basically. I'd recommend this printer to anyone wanting a good printer right out of the box and for a low price point compared to most other printers. Finally, I'll put up some images I've printed with the X1 a lightsaber of things. It's my favorite print so far. It's about 17 different pieces that I finished in PLA using two tenths of a millimeter layers in four different PLA colors and then finishing with spray paint. I also printed these dragon eggs in PLA, which with uh, basically the same settings as the lightsaber. The eggs were printed in two parts and filled up the bed of my printer. Finally, my most recent print is this ship. This model is made up of over 60 individual parts. Many of the smaller parts I was able to fit on the bed at the same time once I was printing. And it's made of PLA and printed in my usual settings. Uh, it's not very loud, as you can tell, but it's loud enough to where if you're laying right beside it, it gets kind of annoying. The loudest noise you hear is the fan motor running to keep the filament at the right temperature. Brian Moman with Variable Penguin Designs. Thanks for watching.